So today feels like Christmas to me because if I open up my Google Classroom, I go to the People tab, I now have the ability to create groups. So I'm going to click on Groups, and I now have no groups, but I'm going to click Create a Group. So now I can select the users that I want for my group. And maybe I'm going to pick Lisa too. So now this is going to be my reading group A. And now I'm able to look in my group and see who's in there. And I can also edit the group if I want to take someone out or put someone else back into that group. Now I can create another group. So I'm going to create a group B. And so this is my reading group B. So there's my two groups. And now when I go into my classwork, I'm going to go ahead and create an assignment. So we're going to create an assignment. We're going to select reading group A. We're going to say that this group is at a 200 to 300 Lexile level. And I'm going to search for a book that has questions for uh, for them in it. So I'm going to select this Counting Cats because I know Charlie is going to like the cat book. So I'm going to attach this story and I'm going to, instead of using all students, I'm going to click here and I'm going to select Reading Group A. But if I'm not sure which group Charlie's in, Oh, he's in reading group A. I'm going to select reading group A, and this is going to assign just to that group. Now the students won't know what group they're assigned to, so I'm going to go ahead and click assign. And now those students are assigned reading group A is assigned counting cats. So now I can go back and I can create another assignment and I am also going to go ahead selecting the 300 to 400. Again, I want some comprehension questions, so I'm going to use this look up story. And I am going to attach this to the assignment. And then I'm just going to go ahead here and I'm going to select reading group B. And I'm done. And now I'm going to assign that. So now that book is assigned to reading group B. So if I look here, it's only assigned to three students. And if I look at the counting cats, that's assigned to four students. So I am good to go. And as they turn the books in, I'm going to be able to go ahead and look at the results from their story reading.